last one is the gold guys. If you're racing these, you've, you've, you've got experience here. You, right. You've been around the block a couple of times. We're doing a t-shirt giveaway if you hear people screaming in the background. Oh, they got the t-shirt cannon people, out? People will do anything for a t-shirt. Oh, they do, don't they? <laughs> Except buy one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, this should be on the backside of Peavine Mount. Yeah. yeah, so tomorrow we're going to be... What time are we starting tomorrow, Tommy? Okay, that's Roger. 7.50 a.m. local time tomorrow. We're going to be going at it all day long. 10.50 Eastern time. We have 12 races or more for you tomorrow, the final day before America, Championship you know, Sunday. Pace Plane just gave us the uh, you got a race signal, and here they come down the chute. Again, they're going to go towards that green mountain with that white light on it. Gosh, that sound is like nothing you've heard all day. We've got Dreadnought in the lead, Sawbones right behind him, Miss America right behind him. Then Sherman Smoot with the camera plane and Argonaut. Mark Watt number in the 924. Let's see as they kind of balance out a little bit. There's Joel. He's still in the lead. Sawbones right behind him. I wish you could hear that. Boy, the sound of the fury is something to behold here. This is what sets the crowds on fire at Reno. So it's Dreadnought, Sawbones, Miss America, and right behind them is Sherman Smoot. Coming down the Valley of Speed for the first time. Joel Swagger and Deb Dreadnought. Not yielding to anyone here at this point. Stepping off a decent little lead right now, but nobody's safe until we uh, we get closer to the end. Checker flag is all you need. So this is our buddy Dreadnought. He'll love that sound. Wow. Right behind him, Sawbones. Right behind him, Miss America. Right behind them, uh, Argonaut. And Mike Brown made a pass on Mark Watt on the backside of the course. And here comes Graham Frew. Unofficially after the first lap, it's Swagger, Brown, Heisey, Smoot. And here's a, a, a view of what Smoot is looking at. Smoot is a good view from fourth place right there. It's a better picture today than we had yesterday. Yesterday was wearing some weird beard. So that's Sherman Smoot, 114 Argonaut, also owned by the Sanders family. Same as Dreadnought and Dante Four. Boy, that ground moves by fast. No kidding. <laughs> looking at it from that angle right yeah. there. Find the pylons. Fast planes, very agile. You can see them all in the, see the pylon he just passed. These are great shots. And here comes Dread, uh, Dreadnought one more time. Coming around pylon nine. Going towards home. Race number eight, Joel Swager. Yeah, that's not smoke coming out of the back of his plane. That's uh, what they call ADI. He's trying to keep, that's Kurt Brown. What we're looking at is uh, Sherman Smoot's uh, onboard camera. Pylon. Yes, second place is... Kurt Brown, Hudson, Wisconsin, right there on the St. Croix River. Yep. He, he, you know, I just don't know. Could be... I think Kurt Brown might have something to push it. Joel a little bit far, farther. But they're just got in the back side of the course. That's Kurt Brown right there. On your screen. No, that looks like. Yep, that's him. That is. He's losing a little ground to our leader, Dreadnought Joel Swagger. It's back to our leader, Dreadnought Joel Swagger. So we can see that flying his red line spinner doing it his way. Red spinner is uh, Dreadnought. Race number eight. Race number eight. Yep. First to launch into lap number three. First time dad this year. That's our uh, astronaut, Kurt Brown in Sawbones with the red and white spinner. About a 20 mile an hour discrepancy in the qualifying times between number one, race eight, and number two, race 71. Dreadnought and Sawbones. And that's our Dreadnought. Joel Swagger keeping it down low there. Mike Brown is still ahead of Mark Watt. Miss 
Miss America. Third place, Brent Heisey, Miss America. Number 11. And there's Joel Swagger. Red Nose, Dreadnought. Let's see what they're doing in the back. Yep, this is Mike Brown in the front, and that's Mark Watt behind him in 924. Mike Brown is in Goldfinger. Goldfinger in 924G. Not hard to pick out Goldfinger. Wonder if Mark's going to push push it today or wait to the weekend. It looks like he's going to push it today. He's pushing it right now. Yes. <laughs> My goodness, closing on Goldfinger very, very fast here. Of course, the angle contributes some to that, but that was a big time move that right there. Looked like a pass to me. Yeah. He just took his place back because he uh, lost it earlier in the race in lap two. The battle right there. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I hate this parallax yeah, thing. I know it's, it's a little, uh, little deceiving. Okay, so that looks like uh, that's uh, Argonaut. They're going to come by the start finish line right now, and there's boy, they're neck and neck. What oh, is that, Mark? That is Mark going. But there's Dread, you know, here's Dreadnought out for his Sunday drive at three at 440 miles an hour or something like that. Yep, just trying to be low key, keep it low, and bring it home, put it in the barn, and you got to win. So of all the Sea Furies that are here, Dreadnought has the largest engine. It's the R4360. White flag, white flag. White flag lap. Dreadnought into lap number six. This is it, final lap. Let's see what they can do. You can see some action on the backside of this. Mark Watt is going for the, oh. And that Dreadnought is passing. That's Mark Watt trying to get a pass on Mike Brown. And uh, we just saw Dreadnought going to pass, the uh, to lap Graham Fru in the yak. A lot of action in this race. The little sub race, is, like sub races like this one. Yeah, this little battle continues looks right like, here. It's like been Mark good so far. Might have it here. That's Ar Argonaut with Mark Sherman Smoot just went by. He's on his final lap now. Next flag we see is the checkered flag. Let's see what we have. All right. Where's Dreadnought coming around? Oh, here he comes, right down. This is our Here checkered flag. Checkered flag, recovering runway two. Dreadnought Joel Swagger four taking four the win. Unlimited heat 2A with two more days of racing remaining. No problem at all. Here comes Kurt Brown, is number two. Graham Frew was, uh, was uh, lapped by the leader. Sawbones just came in. Kurt Brown, number 71, he's number two. They're still fighting back there. <laughs> That's amazing. Look, looks like Mark got it. Yeah, Mark what? Go, Mark. Taking Watt. over from Goldfinger, Mike Brown. And here comes Doc Heisey. Beautiful race, number three in Miss America. Our first look again at Miss America today on Friday. She'll be racing again through the weekend. And here they come. Here comes Argonaut. And I'm looking for. 924 and Goldfinger, there they are. Argonauts just got a lead on these two, and those two have been battling each other all day. But Argonaut with Sherman Smoot, number four. And here comes Mark Watt in 924. He'll get number five. And Mike Brown and Goldfinger, number six. Able to hold off Mike Brown and Goldfinger. That was a heck of a race between those two. Here comes 